Woo! It's a Wednesday. It is. It's Hump Day. Hump Day. Hump Day. Thank goodness. I don't know where this last week went. I, I wasn't have here. No idea. So I know it only has been one week since I haven't been here, but yeah. it feels like one month. It's been, and I just feel like there hasn't been enough time in that week. It, I, that's what I'm, I'm like yeah. night and day, and I still feel behind. Just so you know, the reason I wasn't here yeah, was that New you're Hampshire, not yet, New Hampshire Chronicle <laughs> came in and wanted to film at Crown Point Cabinetry, which is my real job, people, so I can't say no. And just so you know how much work it was, I like was so exhausted. We will probably be on there for maybe what four minutes, and we filmed for over six hours. And my, but they never got up and left in the middle of me talking. Just saying that never happened. They treat I, they treated me much better than Brent does right now. They treated I, me like I, I knew something. I apologize, but I was noticing. <laughs> Here I'm he like, comes. Um, bleep, bleep, bleep. I was just like, I figured you had it under control. Oh, uh, yeah. That the machine yeah. had no plug. So, but it was a lot of work, but um, it was also a lot of fun. And I actually learned a lot, so watch out. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, oh, I watched like, that. I learned a like, lot like production? from some real professionals. Oh, for professionals? Yeah, like uh -oh. if you say um more than 50 times in one video, i.e., last week, you might consider a zap caller. <laughs> That would be kind so, I think people would watch just to see that. I know. I would, I would make you. So we could just go. <laughs> that would be <laughs> kind of fun, actually. I was going to make the quiz be all about how many times did Brent say um in 15 minutes. I, it was probably a lot. I expect another um video. But there's no, but there's no, but you see, there's no dead air, though, when but I say be, um. But to be fair, feel free to make a faces video, too. I'm, I, you know, because I'm the faces. And I when I about it. When I watch back, I go, oh, my gosh. I never realized how goofy I am, but I am. Uh, you I'm win the you that. win the um contest and shut off the phone. Okay, that's the other thing. My phone didn't ring. Yeah, I know. I meant to. I didn't put it on Do Not Disturb because we didn't have. We didn't like, have a zap collar for that too. Do I need well, to buy like a big the, it, dog zap collar? It's not like in the movie theater. <laughs> Do we need one of those really big, like a rock wild size? <laughs> it's not like the movie theater where they play the little silence your phone before we get started, you know. Eddie, yeah, Eddie, the Eddie, the, the no Eddie did, through. You, you don't, don't throw him under the bus. But can I start with a quiz? Can Wait, I get no, sure. I want to make a suggestion. Oh, Danny has a suggestion. Maybe we should have like a poll on our Facebook Excuse group me that one says second. what we should do to punish him. Oh. Instead of just a shot. Danny's call. suggestion is get on our Facebook group and come up with some suggestions for punishment. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a couple. Let's see what you have. Where's that whip? Yeah. Where's my crop? <laughs> and he left me again. All right. Well, I'm going to have fun. Can we do the quiz? Well, he's not here to fight with me, Eddie, so I guess we can do the quiz because I feel bad. I, I owe a prize and I owe a quiz because Brent just, you know, drops the mic on that stuff. So, quiz. Last week's show. Made me laugh. Let's see how, how closely you were listening. Brent says, hey, Eddie, hand me that flathead screwdriver. Because, of course, he's preparing to take apart a machine and hasn't prepared that he needs a flathead screwdriver. Eddie hands him a flat head screwdriver, but Eddie has modified this screwdriver. In what way did Eddie modify the screwdriver? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, outside answers, inside answers. If the live audience knows the answer, raise your hand. Oh, and I get to dance. I have a dance. How did Eddie modify the screwdriver? The screwdriver. Yay! He did! For some reason, he felt the need to put scotch tape all over the screwdriver. When asked why, he said, I don't know. <laughs> Not far from the Brent tree. <laughs> Yay, Rounder, $10 GC! And oh, in Texas, I love it, I love it, I love it! Okay, so now let's do our, do, are we ready with our spinning wheel, Eddie? I, I, uh, I, I got prepared. You forgot it or you no. have it? Now, I'm going to tell you. Okay. 
This right. spinning wheel prize was Anita Spritzer. Mm -hmm. And after seeing my Spritzer, Brent went out and bought a different Spritzer. Is that a bad thing? No. He's got, in all honesty, I'm not going to say it. Well. I like his better. I like his better than mine, but this is what do, I have to ha give away. And ours are available for sale at the store. Oh, they are? Oh, yeah. can, can I? No, I can't you want to get one away? Yes. Instead you, of this one? Because yes. yours are nicer. Yes. Can you go get one? Yes. So I could well, here's why I like his nicer. Wait, and I, I would put my name in this hat. I didn't, I didn't think I would like it nicer, but mine has a container that's on the ground. Not that that's a bad thing because it stays on the ground. But Brent's has the container in the handle. And I went, nah, I don't like that. It's too heavy for my little kitten wrists. Well, he got one in, and it's not too heavy for my little kitten wrists. I actually much prefer it. And he's about to, to conquer it, which is good. So, um, I don't know. You guys can choose. Well, it's no choosing. You're going to like his better. I'm going to go out and get his. Well, I'm going to tell you my thought Maybe process. I'll return this. Oh, you're going to tell... He left me for the third time. It's like a bad boyfriend, Brent. You keep leaving me. It's a me. good thing that Brian has got... He's got you under control. He doesn't have me <laughs> under control. He so, tries, but it doesn't here's work. Here's the spritzer, because when I was sent out yeah, on, the, on, the, on the quest... And you can make this one pretty. Yeah, it's white. I Danny, went with white. we can make this one pretty. We went with white. But the other thing is, it's a 32 ounce. And I, the reason I went with 32 ounces is most of your Tiro Magic, Fast Press, are all going to come with a 32 ounce Viagra. bottle. Uh, yep, Whatever, Niagara. Did yep. I say it right? Yeah, Niagara. Niagara. Most of, that, most of your stuff... No, comes, I didn't say it right. Hey... It's as close as I'm going to get. It comes in a 32 ounce bottle, so this holds 32 ounces. Was my thought. The other thing is, I hate batteries. This is this one also has a USB port. Now, granted, his is more money than my yeah. giveaway, but he's still going to give yeah, it away. Yeah, we're going to give it away. But it's the same idea. You just push this, and it pumps. Don't shoot well, me unless it's in something it. yummy. In and it. then you have a little indicator on top how much battery's left. Question uh, from the audience, Bev. Did you say a USB? What would you use that for? Oh, to charge the charge batteries. It. It's, it's, it's rechargeable. rechargeable. So, Mine was not rechargeable. I had to put batteries in it, which doesn't yeah. bother me. Yeah, see. Bab, another question? Okay, so you put batteries in it so when I squeeze. You just tap the trigger. We got one in house, Bab. Yeah, you, you just tap the trigger. You just tap. Oh. You just tap the trigger and it sprays, and then you tap it again to stop it. You don't have to keep. Because that part took me a while. Because mine, you just let go and it stops. Yeah. This, you have to tap again. I'm like, how do I stop this? How do I stop this? But I really liked it. And I actually wow. think your mist is better. So, yes. Yeah, so just saying. Your mist is better. Why? So, yeah, I wanted rechargeables because I can never find batteries. So, I was like, I'm just going to recharge because I can always find the USB cables. For some reason, you know, everybody yeah. has those. But, yeah, so that's going to be, we and, have these in the store. And the they're show. in the store, right? Yeah, we have a few of them for sale. How much are they for sale for? Um, I want to say we were going to do... Um, we we're going to do them for $39.95. Okay, well, mine was cheaper, just saying. But this is slicker. This is slicker. Yes. So do we want to give away this yeah. spritzer? Guys, you tell me. Well, whoever, oh, you wins, can whoever, pick. whoever wins gets to choose. You get to choose. Okay, spinning wheel. Ready? Set, go. Spinning wheel. Spinning, 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 spinning. Spritz me, spritz me, spritz me. That was Rhonda again. Yeah. Is it your birthday, Rhonda? <laughs> My goodness, congratulations. Wow. Yeah. She's a lucky girl. So, Rhonda, birthday. you just get to tell us which one you would like, and it's all yours and my feelings on her, because I would take this one. Just <laughs> saying. Rhonda, Rhonda, she's in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and we will and we will ship it, Rhonda. Just let us know which one you want. She's all the out. way in Texas. That's all right. pretty cool. So Brent's, Brent's, yeah. She wants Brent's. Yep. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And if you okay. have like a cricket or a scan and cut, you can put fanciness on it. That was you, my thought. You absolutely can put fanciness on it. Yeah. And I'm sure we shall. Oh, well, I'm sure. For the we're classroom, going to. it's just down. So, somewhere. are we ready for shop news? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was left alone. So, that's all right. You know, no, this no, is no, what no, happens. Right. You had it under control. I, that's what I just, I just wanted to do before I forget. Because I have my outline. I'm prepared today, unlike most times. So we have fa fabric. I have on my outline to say buy some. But when I af after I put the outline together, this came in. And here's the panel. And I'll just show this up. This is new fabric. Just came in today. 
So that's going to be the panel. There is going to be a kit we're putting together. Oh, I don't that's have that so all cute. done yet. But that's the um Who is this from now? This is from uh, Wyndham Fabric. This is Frolic. Yes. You know I was asking for Frolic. See, yeah, this is Frolic. So this is from Wyndham, that's the panel. And then we just have all um, there's these four coordinates. I guess Very I'll show you the cute. coordinates. So it's it's non-binary. It goes even better than non-binary if you're going to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, no, let's not. We have... Rainbows. Rainbows. Love it. Okay, there's a whole... Oh, I, I love it. <laughs> Growing up in the 90s, there was a whole stand-up... There, yeah. there was a whole stand-up routine about the rainbow that I can't... Really? Yes. Okay, well, don't get into about it. About how it was stolen from the leprechauns. It's really funny. Oh. <laughs> no, this is really nice. And this is just a nice dot. Um... And then, like I said, you just have the animals, and then you got mushrooms. So you got mushrooms, rainbows, and animals, and that great panel. I love this. So this mushrooms too. Yeah. So this just came in. Um, we'll have it up on the. We should have it up available online Do you for know the days out. California, the mushroom thing is big. I don't. The understand. magic mushroom yeah. stuff. Yeah. It doesn't. Because there's a desert. Or they something. don't really. They don't really know about it on, on this coast. But out there, it's like as popular as my pop. Just, oh, yeah. Psilocybin is a big thing right now. I, I, I was my unaware. Just, I'm my thinking, just, I am too innocent. That's all I my can My understanding, say. though, is <laughs> the mushrooms that you want... Yeah. ...grow on <laughs> cow crap. Well, I probably I believe, ate of my whole childhood and didn't even know. I'm it. just saying, the, 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 the magic mushrooms that... And that's the rumor. I haven't okay. really studied this out, but I remember as a child, it all was... Right. That's we're where getting you would find the, them. That's where you harvest the, them. We're getting the anyway, producer going. That's some fabric just came in. Um, prairie kits are just. Oh, let's talk prairie kits. We're going to be shipping those this week, I think. Brent, 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 Brent. I don't know what. Am I in trouble? No. Oh, you this guys, is my demo sample. You guys Good. did a fantastic job with it. It's amazing. Okay. We also have a private Facebook page. Yes. Set ready to go for all our prairie people. It's called. Maybe Eddie can pull it up because I didn't. I shut my computer down. It's called Four Pines Quilting Sew Along. We wanted it to say Prairie Meadow Sew Along, but something happened. Yeah. So hopefully this goes well, and in the future, we, uh, there'll be a separate Facebook page yes. for each project that we're doing together. Yeah. Okay? If you go in there, it is private, so you'll be asked a couple of questions. I think three questions. Questions that will help us identify you as a true purchaser here at Four Pines. So if you've not purchased the kit at Four Pines, you cannot get on our Facebook page. Okay, I did a complete side note, but three questions. Questions three, what is your favorite color? No, we already have three what questions. What is the it's airspeed velocity of an no. Asian African uh, swallow? <laughs> Where is the zap caller? Yeah, right. where is the zap caller? People uh, in the comments no, might get that one. It's all done. Yeah, it's okay. all done. You're too late to, to to add to it. Sorry, you you have you were you were asked and you snoozed, so you lose. No, that, that was a, that was a, a, a reference to yeah. something that I'm sure people in the comments will get. Okay. All right. All right. Hi, Kaya. Yay. Okay. So once you're on that Facebook page. That is where you will get all your files for the digitizing. It is where you will get all your videos or links to videos. Everything is one-stop shopping. That's where you can ask questions. That's where you can show off your work. It will be moderated by Four Pines, but it also will be seen by everybody else doing Prairie Meadow. So what that allows you to do is maybe get a question faster. And it, it means that that is the go-to place. That's where questions and answers will be will be taken care of and all your files will be. It will not be on our regular website. It, you have to become a member of Facebook. And I know some of you go, oh, I don't want to be a member of that scary Facebook. You don't have to put in a real profile. You can put in anything you want. You don't even have to put in a real email address. People do this all the time. You create a dummy profile that you're going to use for crafting. When you answer the questions, that's when we'll get the information that identifies you as somebody we really know and trust, and that's how we'll let you in. But your Facebook account that you use to come in can be a dummy account that you use for nothing else. 
So do not be scared about it. I know I have a lot of people out there go, I'm getting off Facebook. I'm not getting on Facebook. The one thing I keep Facebook for is for my crafting sites. And you don't have to be yourself. You don't have to put in your real name, your real address, <laughs> your real email. You have put in all this crappy, fake information. And Every, bada bing, ev- bada boom, you got an account. Everybody under 30 has already figured that out. I know, but it's the over 30 that are afraid to get on. And I'm saying it. You, there's so much out there for crafting yep. pages that it's worth it, even if it's a dumb account that you use it for nothing else. And you can set up a free email, like with Gmail or something. That it doesn't even. That. Have, they don't even authenticate it. I know, but I'm just saying if they do, free emails with bogus. Yeah, it's easy it, to do. A bogus email. Yeah. Our questions will help us identify you as a real person who purchased from yeah. us, and that's how we will let you in. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with your Facebook account. Yeah. So Cool. So that's prayer. That, that is where things are going to be. Okay. okay. And, yeah, the prairie's ready to go. Uh, everything is cut. Danny was right. The book's a little fat, but that's because you haven't done any work yet. <laughs> As you work, it'll get skinnier and skinnier. When you join that Facebook page, the very first video is already up. It talks about the kit, what to find in the kit, and your first step for putting the black background blocks together. The next video, we're going to get into block block one. But these are ready to go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. And the Facebook page is up and running with the very first lesson on it. Mm-hmm. So, come on okay. in. So there's that. Uh, Baby, look, that we have box. a um, um, we did get some machines that came in earlier this week, so we do have we do have some pre previously loved machines that are going to be available here shortly. So if you are in the market for an embroidery machine, give me a call. And, and we can talk to you what we have available. Um, I do know right now I do have a Baby Lock Destiny that came in. Uh, we may have a dr- couple Dream machines, but I but like I said, stuff's coming in. If you're looking for a machine, now is a great time to buy. And then from there, classes. Check out our calendar. We've been starting to put stuff on the calendar. What is date night? <laughs> date night was an idea that I had. Yeah, I just, it's hard on the and calendar. And I figured as the proprietor, I'd just make it happen. Yeah. No, the idea about date night is probably not going to appeal. I'm not going to say not appeal, but for people that are watching. The idea is... Um, for Sarah's birthday last year, we actually went out to do a pottery class, which I thought was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We spent the evening throwing pottery, and it was awful, but it was fun. Mm-hmm. So date night is kind of in that same vein. It, we are gonna. It's it's about a two. It's gonna be a two two maybe two and a half hour class. One class. Yep, it's one class. There's no way in two and a half hours I'm having all the blocks I need to complete a quilt. Are you what well, we? Not a quilt that I want to show to anybody. The I- <laughs> well, yeah, the idea is that the people that are doing are, are, are coming on a date. Yes. And we're going to go over, at the beginning of the class, how to do a four-patch and a simple four-patch, simple nine-patch, and a few variations on that. Okay. And then we're going to set you, the couple loose. Uh-huh. And by the end of the night, we just need them to have about 20 blocks done, or 12. Depending how much they get done, we'll go over there. You'd be lucky if I have six. A nine-patch. Yes. You strip a nine-patch. Two and a half hours takes me not to pick my fabric. Well, that that's a whole other issue. But <laughs> if you stop and think about it, put throwing together four patches and nine patches after you strip them, yeah, really doesn't take that long. Yeah, and especially if I'm doing all the cutting for a strip here. So, so, but all you ha- will be making is the blocks, and then after okay. and after the after the class is over, you give us the blocks. You give me sash- the blocks. You give me the blocks, and then we're gonna sash them. Quilt them, bind them, and then in a couple weeks you come pick it up. Where's Brenda? Brenda, are you hearing this promise? She did hear this promise. <laughs> so, again, probably the people watching this aren't going to be super interested in this. It's going to be more geared more towards people that are just looking for a fun date night. It's not that, it's not that you and Brian couldn't come do it. Uh, but I'm not sure that you would be satisfied with the end result no, because you are a much more in-depth yeah, quilter. that would be the hard I, for me to watch. The idea behind it, though, is... You know, something to do for fun. I mean, yeah, what is no, it? I think they having fun on Friday night is cool. And there's and there's very few fun things. I mean, not fun things, but there's very few couples activities to do in the area. So I just thought that would be yeah. kind of fun. We'll throw it out and see how it goes. It's either going to be Some a disaster. Some of us would prefer not to do couple things on Friday. Yes, just saying. But it also doesn't <laughs> have to. Home. It also doesn't have to be 
a couple. It could be grandma and granddaughter. Yeah. It could yeah, be that's, it, that's it could be a couple. Idea. You know, if you've got if like a couple sisters or even a couple brothers want to come yeah. hang out. But the it's priced. It's three hundred dollars per couple. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be the plan for it. Like I said, most people watching this are probably going to be kind of like, yeah, maybe not. I know. I see them all raising yeah. the hand. They can't wait to be here. But um. But that's going to be date night. Oh, and so answer she's just the other thing we do have coming up is owners club. Um, the luminaire owners club. We started that a couple months ago. We skipped last month. The luminaires did come in this week, so we are going to be doing luminaires owners club th uh, this month. And you don't have to bring your luminaires. No luminaire, but you need to sign up, and there is a ten dollar fee because of everything in the classroom we're doing now. But for that ten bucks, we're going to have a. It's about. It's, we plan on about an hour. You'll be sitting at a luminaire. We'll be going over stuff. Um, it's limited to six people per, so we're actually running two. We have one on a Saturday um, on the 24th, and we're going to run it again Thursday afternoon on the 29th. So um, oh, cool. there's that. That's going to be available. We're going to start trying to get more of that on there. So if you're interested in that, sign up. The Do you have to have bought your luminaire from Four Pines? Not necessarily, but ideally we would like that you bought it from us. <laughs> <laughs> But it is it is something that we do offer because you know it's a it's a big investment and so we're, it's here to kind of we're um, I believe we're going to be going we're going to be covering fonts this month we're going to get into fonts a little oh, bit oh well there's a mystery to unravel yeah we're going to get into that a little bit so the, the idea yeah. is you come hang out probably about forty five minutes we'll be playing with the machines and seeing stuff and touching buttons and it'll be exciting um, just to know even if you don't have a luminaire yeah. if you have a dream machine or yeah. a destiny some of the things yes. That, uh, a cross platform. Our cross platform, yes. Yeah. So, it, and it's available if you, if you want to come check it out. Like I said, it's ten bucks a person. Um, limited, like I said, to, it, we have it limited to six people, but we're going to run it um, Saturday and a Thursday. The other one we've got coming up is we do have learn to quilt on the calendar. Again, most people watching this probably already know how to quilt, but if you have a friend that you that's been asking, teach me to quilt, send them to our class. We're gonna we actually have it on the calendar for Thursday evenings. We're gonna start doing evening classes. Um, we have Thursday evenings in October um, at six six to eight. We'll be doing Sweet. Uh, learn to quilt, and then we're also going to run that again Tuesday during the uh, Tuesday afternoons from uh, Tuesdays at one. So very nice. Again, like I said, a lot of people watching is probably not going to be oh, but if you know somebody, we're, we're trying well, to get is that it, started. Is it is it the Yellow Brick Road? No, the same thing. No, no. what is it? It is. We're taking. It's one of the quilts out of the three one yard cuts. I can't remember three what it's yard. called. Okay, but um, it. I'm teaching the class, so I was like, I'm going to find something I want to do. Um, <laughs> I went that direction because three one-yard quilts, it's much easier to pick your fabric if you just need three pieces. Mm -hmm. And the quilt that we're going to be doing gets into half-square triangles. It does and, a, and they will not have to bring a machine. No. This, this is an all-inclusive class. This is all-inclusive. At the end of four weeks... In you fact, will, we don't want you to bring a yes. machine. <laughs> at, the en at the end of four weeks, you will go home with a completed quilt, and all you had to do is just show up for class. That, so, so it's an all-inclusive class, um, and so you just show up. <laughs> and then there's Kimberbell is happening uh, the weekend of the 22nd. So that's what's on the calendar now. We're still adding more stuff, um, but just keep an eye on it because we're, we're really starting to gonna start filling stuff out. Um, if you have ideas for classes... Shoot us an email or stop by the store and say this is what the we Kimber like Bell doing. The Kimberbell event is actually a two-day two day, yes. Kimberbell event. Yes. Um, it's the North Pole tier event that we showed And off. while we're talking about classes, I just want to let people know as well that if we don't have anybody signed up for a class two days ahead of time, we're canceling classes. So if you're interested... Anybody or a minimal amount? At least two people. Thank you. Um, because... So if you're interested in a class, up sign up sooner than one yeah, person. sign up sooner than later because it does take some planning to do classes and um and we, and if there's not the interest, we're not gonna it's we don't you know we don't want to put forth the there's a lot of work involved. Aww. So that's all I have for classes. We've been started to make the samples for the North Pole. Okay, so Sorry. here's here's what's coming up in Kimberbell. This is the cute little pillow. Pillow. And the cute. Pillow. It goes. It's going to go on that three tier, which is included in the class, by the way. It's a pillow. It is. Pillow. It is cute. It does, but the design can go anywhere. You know, you got to yeah. think. You get all these designs. You don't. We just don't sit and make a pillow. You go home with all the designs. Oh, Danny, you did a cute job. This is going to go in a frame that Becky refuses to leave natural, so I have to paint you, you, you it. You have to paint it. Yeah. I use variegated green. But we don't have that in the classroom. I know, but I did. It was for you, so. <laughs> 
Then people want it when they come to class. Have we not had this discussion? Well, we, can, we can make that happen. And then we have the naughty nices that are going to go on the little ladder. There's only one. I did two, though. Oh, she did two. But they're cute. What a well done job. And guess what? My ladder shall be painted. And these, one of my favorites. You know Kimber Bell and their lights. You're going to make all these little snowflakes. And then you're going to put them on it. Did you take the battery thing? Yeah. Can you see these? These all. So those little um. These little so fairy the, lights. Those, those, we are gonna make these, the snowflakes. The snowflakes are something you made. Okay. We make the snowflakes. Yeah. We're gonna put these little lights on it, and then in their video, they have these draped all around the tier yeah. tray, so it lights up. But Danny says no. I want to take them and put them on the backdrop, but they're going on the display <laughs> first. <laughs> so that's that's that's, that's Kimberbell. That's coming. There's out. more. Yeah. Danny's just. That's oh, she's slacking, slacking. She, she's. I should have brought in the ones I'm supposed to do. If she would, I could have talked her into doing them too. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be happening um, in October. Um, um, um. And we're running a second one in November okay, as well. If we if we fill up October, we'll be running November. If November works better, feel free to sign up for that. As long as we've got enough numbers, we'll run it twice. Yep. So there's It's really that. cute. I think once you see the display all done, yep. which I'm currently the hold up. Because I've been prairieing it all. And, and Rhonda, if you did want to fly in for it, I'm sure we could arrange uh, to pick you up from the airport. Oh, Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda, why don't you make us do it virtual for you? Oh, yeah, I had to go say it, didn't you? I, I know, did. I, I did have didn't to go say it. Di and Deanna. We have yeah. done it virtual. We just said, yeah, we just set up a camera. And go, we just, okay. It's just the Zoom oh, thing. Okay. Danny and I can handle it, right, Danny? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think you should say we can't do virtual. Well, I won't say we can't do virtual. Because the Kimber Bell says we can. I didn't say we can. So yeah, okay. if you want us to, if you want to zoom in, just just sign up and let us know. Yes. Yes. And so if you're I'll, watching this, I'll you make wanna, sure Brent yeah. makes it happen. If you're watching this and you want to do it virtually, sign up and just let a note or give us a call, and we'll make sure that it happens virtually yeah. as well. Yes, indeed. Yes, okay. indeed. So that's all I've got for news. Like uh, shop news. Like I said, big thing. Keep an eye on the class. We're starting to do. I'm trying to do a lot more with that, and we'll be filling in the calendar as we go. Okay. That brings us to quiz time. But you already, but did, you quiz already time. did quiz time because you left me. <sighs> and I. <laughs> Didn't get Quilt of the Week done. Again? No, I had one in mind, but I didn't get it off the machine in time. Again? It's a really cool one. It's, That's a, really, right. it's a neat Harry Potter one. Well, we'll next, next week. week. We'll have it next week. Unless they pick it up. Uh, yeah, John and Jean, don't pick a quilt up, quilt up till next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then that brings oh, us... Oh, you did? Ronald came from the king here. Well, oh, come, wow. up, come on up, girlfriend. Yeah. You know, we'd love to have you. The common man's just down the I road, a, uh, and they're really a, nice rooms. I have an uncle that was born in Swansea. Grab a grab a friend and come up for for two days in New Hampshire. It's fall foliage. Oh yeah. Ooh, make yeah. a girls trip out of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, they, yeah they, <laughs> No. Yeah, you can do. Daily okay, so we're now we're on to turbo tips. Do you have anything? We want to go straight into workbench. Workbench, my friend. Okay, workbench. workbench. What we're going to talk about today. Just a quick little thing is scant quarter inch. Do you all know what scant quarter inch is? Mm -hmm. It's tell them what it is, Brent. It's quarter inch. Window. It's quarter inch, but scantier. <laughs> Basically, there's some there's some patterns that will tell you to do a scant quarter inch, which means you want your quarter inch to be a little bit narrower than a, than the normally is. And a lot of people struggle with this because then they're like, well, where, how do I do a scant quarter inch? And there's different techniques. I've seen everybody's got their own way of doing it. I'm going to show you the super easy way to do it. Because if, like myself, you have one of these. What is that? That is oh, a quarter inch. Are you going to zoom in on that for me, Eddie? That is a quarter inch foot. And this little guide right here is a quarter inch from the center of that hole. So when I have to do a scant quarter inch, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do a scant quarter inch because I only have a quarter inch foot. I'm going to show you how to do a scant quarter inch with a quarter inch foot. So you would, if you pattern call for, what? What are you looking at me like that for? Is that not doable? Are you going to use tape from no. the screwdriver? No. That's way too much work. You forget how lazy I am. All I'm going to do, uh, well, we'll, we'll do it first on a luminaire because, just because I have that sitting here. Um, and you want to come to the screen over here, Eddie? And this, and the, and the, and the concept of this works on almost all sewing machines. And I'm going to show it to you on this, and I'm also going to show you on an old 401A Singer. 
so you can see how this works. So in on my machine, um, stitch one is center position on my foot. And so that means if I'm in the center position, my foot, that I'm a quarter inch from the edge. What's nice on a luminaire, I think, oh, I gotta, I hope I don't make you all see six. I gotta move that a little bit. There you go. So down here you'll see you have stitch width, stitch length, left, right, shift. Now, a luminaire is fancy in that it knows it's a straight stitch, so I can't adjust my stitch width. But you can adjust your left, right, shift. 3.5 is the exact center to left, of to seven. Left, to left, and all right. I'm gonna do if I want to scan quarter inch is why is that? Put it on three. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why though? Explain why. Why what? Why it wouldn't let you shift. Because I was in quilting mode. Because the quilt stitches kind of lock you into things. But you they need to know that because most yeah, of us are see, coming in quilting. See, because so we have... yeah, so you can default this to start in quilting mode. That's why I'm here, folks. That's why. But I'm here. the problem with quilting mode is they kind of lock you into a couple things, um, which I hardly ever use it because you get the same stitches over here, and then you have full rain over them. Um, so three is center, and then all I'm going to do, <laughs> totally sidetrack me there. Um, if I if I go up, this moves in quarter millimeter increments, and can you go to this here? Now, if you watch carefully, I'm going to go up. Can you? Um, wait, you can't do it into that. No, you're good. So you see how that? You see how the? Um, oh my gosh, what did you just do? There we go. <laughs> you see how that's moving just a little bit as I change it. So, uh, and now that's on the luminaire that's under left, right shift. On a normal sewing machine, um, on a normal sewing machine, you might not have left, right shift because it's not fancy like a luminaire. And so, to so show come you- come in and get a luminaire. Come, but, or, <laughs> look at this. You can do the same trick on this. This is a good old fashioned Singer 401A. It's like the updated version of a featherweight. So the concept works the same. Um, if you, can you get down there for me, Eddie? I don't have a quarter inch foot on this. Eddie's gonna zoom in. I don't have a quarter inch foot on this, but the concept is the same. So if I did have a quarter inch foot, I'd have a guide right here that, I'd, um, that I would put my um, fabric up against and go. But can you go over to this setting here? Zoom out, okay, there we go. On this, this setting here is your stitch width. So if I had a zigzag stitch on my machine, this setting is going to be how wide that zigzag is. But guess what? On a straight stitch, there is no width. What that affects on most machines, if you have a straight stitch, the, the width of the zigzag adjusts where your needle hits. So if you, can you zoom in again for me real quick, Eddie, on the needle? I used to just take this little screw and force it to move. So you'll notice as I move my stitch width, you see how that changes where it's going to fall in the foot? So if you're in the center and you want to do a scant quarter inch, you just hit it a little to the, to the left and it's now going to stay in that position. But if, make sure you don't have your single hole plate on. Yes. Um, single hole needle plate. That's a very, very interesting Cause, point. Because you have a lot yes. of one. That is something to keep in mind. Now, you can, if you look closely at a um, quarter inch foot, you don't have the slot in the middle. So you need to be very careful when you're making this adjustment that you are not outside of that hole. So what I would recommend, if you move it left, left or right just a hair, hand crank it before you drop the hammer and go. Because if you went too wide and you're beyond that hole, you're going to break a needle. But you do have enough leeway in that hole to do a scant quarter inch without a problem. Single hole needle plates, depending on the needle plate, you may have enough space, but I wouldn't count on it. I would actually put your regular needle plate on if you usually run a single hole needle plate if you're doing a scant quarter inch. You might have room, but I but single hole needle plates tend to be very a lot smaller than what you're going to see on the foot. So that's a quick easy way to do a scant quarter inch is just adjust your stitch width and you can still use your quarter inch foot, just change where the needle's coming down in the foot. And I just wanted to show that to people because scant quarter inch comes up sometimes and then there's all sorts of weird ways to do it where you can put tape on the you put tape on the machine, you you do all sorts of weirdness. You don't have to. Use the same foot, just adjust your stitch width so that your um, needle is a little bit more to the right and you've got a scant quarter inch. That's all there is to it. I, you <laughs> so 
that's all I've got. That was uh, that's your uh, workbench for the week. I like it. And like I said, we just did state of the art. You can do it on, and we just did it on a four hundred one a Singer. So that tells you most everything in between is going to have that ability to do it. Any machine that does zigzag, you should be able to make that adjustment. And that's all I've got for workbench. I'm going to but why? why? Why do I even care about a scant quarter inch? <sighs> It's going to depend sometimes. Because I just use my quarter inch foot and I just. Yes, but in some. Why do I care? Because in some designs, that scan, if, um, like I think paper piecing, you'll sometimes do it as you start tearing stuff off it for lining stuff up. Some some templates and other stuff. Why do you do it then? Mostly it's done when we're doing uh, those squares that we're then dividing down the middle and then you're folding the fabric yep. over because the fold takes up some width. So when you're folding that fabric over, like the how you make some flying geese, yep. you know, you put the square here and the little square here, and then you have to sew from point to point. And when you fold that point back, they don't line up right. Yep. That's when they say, oh, you need a good scant quarter inch because of the dif difference in the folds. And you know, I do find, like, on some templates, too, they recommend a scant, depending on the yeah. template you're using. You know what I say? Don't make your flying geese that way. There's an easier oh, way. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. But the other thing, uh, miniatures as well, you might find when you Maybe doing, with miniatures, with miniature yeah, quilting. The, the fold yeah. does take... Yeah. Does a lot with miniature quilts. I've seen that. Um, and then there again, smaller needle, smaller thread. Mm-hmm. I never care about a scant quarter inch because of the way usually... I sew, but I know Sewing that. badly with Brent. Sewing badly with Brent means make it all larger than you know you're going to need it so you can hack it off later. But hacking it off later is an extra step. Do you really think I'm going to do that? <laughs> no. No. But, yeah, that's... Um, we don't. But, yeah, if, if your pattern calls for scant, that's how you do it without... Too much trouble, and it's and it's pretty precise because if you do it the same way every time, you're gonna have the same scant every time. Okay. No. Move along. Move mm. along. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I like my quarter inch foot. Also, on the luminaire, I would um, well join in then, D, because you'll love this year's. Oh, yes, and, you will. And so, like Kai is saying that uh, one of the patterns that she does everything. Tells you to do a scant quarter inch. So, yeah. yeah, and why is that though, Kaya? Is it, is it all triangles? I'm just curious. Yeah. Some 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 patterns are very like scant scant. I'm thinking if if I'm doing like a nine patch or a four patch or a sixteen patch like Prairie, all I care about is consistency. Yeah. I care that I have a consistent quarter inch. That becomes very important to making sure everything lines up. If I were to go inconsistently, then my intersections are not going to line up. I wouldn't know, would, I would know would... anything about that. <laughs> yes, <she laughs> I don't would. think any yes, minor, she none of my intersections um, line up ever. Say a lot of them, yes. See, yeah. she's doing, yeah, she's yep. doing triangles. Yep. That's usually where we start to see it when you're doing a flying geese or a pinwheel or something like that yep. where you're folding stuff over. Okay. Yeah. So that's cool. Moving on to... The, All right. Well, what I was going to do, I'm not really going to do. Oh. But I'm going to... I'm sorry. Did we take all your phone no, away? No. No, I'm having this uh, issue. Okay. But that's okay. I'll do what I can. Okay. It's never fun to have issues. Edge to Edge Pro. What I wanted to do today was show you how to do the whole thing from start to finish. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to show it to you, but I can tell it to you. When you get this book, there's no CD, there's no USB, okay? The first thing you're going to do before you do anything... Is that the book that we noticed that you can yes, just open it and... There will be a serial number down below, and it'll instruct you to sign on to her website so you can download the files. The big mystery is, when you download those files, they are not usable files. That's what I like about her new designs, but it's also what some people go, what are you talking about, Becky? That, that, why am I downloading something I can't use? Very clearly, in the beginning of the book, very beginning, she will talk to you, it's on page three, about going to Dime and installing... I can go down if that's easier, Eddie. <laughs> 
off, I should switch it off. Let's go down. Let's go down. That's right, turning it off and on again. Uh, that one's, I, it, it, that's how you guys stop. It's like that thing when you like pile attention There's, to it, then it just makes it worse because it, uh, yeah. I can't help exactly. myself. Exactly, it's just making okay. it worse. And okay. then you just feed it. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on page three, she talks about installing the embroidery tool shed, and you have to go to Dime to get that, all right? Now, if you're doing it on a PC, you're home free. You download it, you do an install, all of a sudden you have embroidery tool shed on your PC. If you have a Mac, you have to download a translator first, then the tool shed, because it doesn't work natively on the Mac. So you got to go and get make sure you get two things if you've got a Mac. You need the tool shed and the translator. And I know what you're thinking, don't get a Mac. No. But I have a Mac. I also have a PC. So what I did is I did it on I'm one I'm putting version. Linux on machines here in the shop now. So Yeah, I mean, okay, all right. So, so you've got to make sure, and she does refer you to a video on YouTube that walks you through it. So there is that help available too. That allows you the piece of software where you can then take the files that you downloaded into this tool shed and create your embroidery file. And you're going, whoa, that's an awful lot of work to get the files. Question on the format that goes into tool shed. Is that specific to tool shed? It is very specific okay. to tool but shed. But tool shed is a free tool. Tool shed is free okay. from Dime. They claim it's $1.99. <laughs> um, that's all you'll ever use it for. That's all I ever used to use it for. But what I do like about it is it does allow you to resize any of these. And she's got a lot of nice. She's got a lot of nice designs on this very first release, and she's going to be releasing more. And it allows you to resize these to anything you want, and not have the quality distorted. Cause one, and when you resize them, guys, do a save as. If you don't do a save as, you run the risk of overwriting your original file. And then guess what you don't have anymore? Do the original. Yes. So it is a very techie process. So once you know what size you want something, you need to do a save as. And in our case, save as PES mm -hmm. so we can then use it on our brother embroidery machines it is worth the work in that everything you don't have to like second guess yep. she does spend pages and i'm not going to pages and gives you little charts to determine what size you need it to be just look at your quilt divide it up decide what size you want it because it, it and look at your biggest hoop that that's my recommendation and then make it that size um, but she hasn't, can we go down again, Ed? <laughs> we, we see where she says, see how this page is distorted because it wasn't done using tool shed. Mm -hmm. And this is not over here. And it's because it recalculates all the stitches. So it's going to have the same stitch yeah. length. And it maintains the aspect ratio and all that. Well, no, you can blow that out of okay. the water too. But. Okay. I don't know why you would want to because it would start to look wonky, but because, well, let's know. say you need to. Let's say you're up by half an inch. Most on the last block, nobody's going to notice I'm off by half an inch. Right now, what we do oh, is we, I'm go, gonna be there we go, with a out, we go out to make it fit. You know what I mean? Yeah. We make do. This allows us to, for them to do us. Yeah. We get what we want instead yeah. of just doing whatever they give us. Yeah. Very similar to Kimberbell, but Kimberbell I find easy. Easy. Yeah, I was going to say the, the, the concept, I think, with Kimberbell. But anyway, I wanted to yeah. clear up yep. for the people who have come in and gotten this book and thought, where are my designs? Yeah, why, and why, why do you mean i got to do all this stuff? If you're not familiar with all these steps, it may not be. And keep you. in mind, there's two reasons that a design does not show up on your embroidery machine that's on a USB stick. One, incorrect file format, which is probably what you're running into here. Secondly, the pattern is too big for your machine. You won't run into this on, like, say, a Luminaire or Dream Machine typically, but, like, on a uh, 1300, which maxes out, like, a 6 by 10 Really? It, if, the, if, the design, I know that. if the design is 6 and a half by 9, mm -hmm. it's not going to show up because that 6 and a half inch isn't, is too big for the width. So, um, brother will not let you see designs that are too big for your machine. So, those are the two reasons they don't show up. Wrong file format or the, or the, the file itself, the 
design itself is too big for the machine. And this often happens, since we're talking about this, and I totally stole your show from you. No, that's okay, because I think this is the way that if they're you are, headed. Yeah. So you might as well get If you are digitizing it. stuff, that the, I don't know if you've ever seen this, so you digitize all this wonderful stuff, and you accidentally put an extraneous dot out in left field mm. on your design. Mm -hmm. You download your design, put it on USB, and put it in your, and it doesn't show up. And you say, too large for the hoop. Too hard. To, yeah, it's like it's too big for the hoop. Too, and again, like, what's wrong with it? It's because that little dot that's out in the middle of nowhere is considered part of the hoop. So that's another but thing. But it is. It if is. If you start getting into, yeah, if you start getting into digitizing, that's the kind of stuff that... Well, it can happen in design centers. Yeah, it well. happens a lot in design center. Where because you, you think you've got it clean and you don't have Because you missed clean. a pixel when you were erasing stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had a question, Bob? So Toolshed is a dialogue they're using in... It's a program. Yeah. Program. From, it, t and the question is about tool shed. Tool shed, okay. Then when that's downloaded, the design, does it come as a zip file or is it just if you get the design? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what. Bev is asking, am I getting a zip file or what when I download these files? That's to, if you're on a PC and Bev is, she's probably getting a zip file. Okay. So then you will have to unzip that zip file in order to access your designs. Tool shed comes in as just a package. It's not zipped. It's a small program, and you just double click on it, and then it will install. Is but free? it yeah. is free. Tool shed is absolutely free. And truthfully, I really believe that's how all her new designs are going to be released. I think they're making that move because that's a competitive move to make. Yeah. Um, and she has a relationship with Dime that I don't think she will break. So for her, I wish she would. Have let us do it on in brilliance, but she's not going to. I don't see that happening. So download your tool shed, get over yourself. It's free. Um, and and truthfully, to be able to modify your quilting designs, and I know she's gone back and changed some of the older quilting designs too. Mm -hmm. So to be able to modify them and get them the way you want them, I think is well worth the extra effort. But it is a little bit of effort. Yeah. But a shout out it. to Dime. They're running this awesome special this month with these little thread packs for 10 bucks. Oh, They're yeah. They're freaking awesome. You should have put that in shop Well, I'm news. out of them. I'm waiting for more of them to come. What do you mean you're out of them? There's like three left. We had a whole big box. I know. Them. We sold them all over the weekend. I got a whole other no big box. No way. I got a whole other big Guys, box Guys, I wish I had a photo of this huge box that came in. How many were in each pack? There was five threads to each pack. There were twelve. Dime exquisite threads. Yes. There was thirty six, I think. There was twelve. Yeah, yeah. There was there's was, there's was twelve sets all together. We had three of each set, and it was ten bucks for these this nice little five pack. That and the five pack coordinated. Yes. And they they looked good together. It was like a project. And just a shout out to that because we have some more of those coming in if you missed them. Wow. Anyway. I didn't get mine just so you know, but well, that's we got more okay. coming in. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Great. Yeah. That's nice to hear. They really are a good deal. And it was only ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good deal. And pretty colors that work well. And if you have and if and if you're not local really to us and you have a local dealer that does dime, they should have them. If not, if we'll not, sell them to you give and ship them to you. Yeah. Anyway, there's good projects in here too. But anyhow. anyhow. Anyway. Is that all I have? That's all I had. Okay. And it kind of well, well, out. That's all right. Yeah. We did good. Time's all right. Okay. I'm sure you know. I rambled long enough. We know. I mean, sorry, you, you're good. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyhow. So yeah, that's what we got. We got we got new and exciting stuff happening. Feel free to email us with any questions. Shoot us a me uh, message on Facebook or give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, we're here to help. And remember to sew on and be excellent to each other. Toodles.